everyone and welcome back to our kitchen. Hoy vamos a preparar unos riquísimos burritos de pescado. We're going to use tilapia fish. We rinse them and then we patted them dry with a clean paper towel. We made little strips to make it easier to fit into the burrito. And we're just going to lightly season them with salt and pepper. I made a little combination of salt and pepper and we're going to season both sides of the fish. Just very lightly, not too much. Volteamelos, mi amor. Aquí, dame tantito aquí, por favor. Más. Sí, para que quede Ay, bien eso. Que quede bien sazonado, ¿verdad? Ya vamos a darle vuelta bueno. a este. Déjate ayudar a voltear. Muy fácil. I also like the chile relleno burrito. What kind do you like? Burritos would be fish. Fish would be my favorite. Or the classic shrimp burrito. The shrimp burrito. Those you so always delicious. order the chile verde one when we go out. Yeah, I get the yeah, chile verde one because I like to try different chile verdes from different locations. So I like to see how everybody makes their, their chile verde. Yeah, in different ways. I still have not found my favorite. So I'm still, I'm st I still order that chile verde. Where would we go? <laughs> Where would we go? <laughs> I'm going to set this aside and then we're going to prepare the, the batter. To prepare the batter, we're going to need one cup of all-purpose flour. In a separate bowl, we're going to use half a cup of flour for the fish. To season the flour, we're going to use one teaspoon of each. Garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and lemon pepper seasoning. Add all these seasonings for one teaspoon of everything, except for the baking soda. This one's half a teaspoon. And we're going to mix everything up. And for this recipe, you can use your favorite beer to prepare and make it beer batter fish. But since we're making it for the kids, we're going to use seltzer water. We're going to add the seltzer water a little bit at a time until it reaches the consistency that we need it to be. We don't want to add everything at once, otherwise it's going to be too liquidy. So Ready? Yep. And it's nice and foamy. Okay, chale tantito más. Un poquito más. There we go. Look at that beautiful color it's getting. It's, you can also add any other seasonings that that you want to add to your fish. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. Eso. Eso. I think this one's going to do it. How much did we use? A uh, little bit over a cup. Yeah, just a little bit over a cup. Mix this in really well. I think it's good. Yeah, for sure. We don't want it to be too watery. See, it's. I think that's good. That's perfect. Okay. okay. All right. Good gracious! I heard that. He's hungry already. <laughs> Poor baby. No le doy de comer. All right. Now we're gonna heat up our oil, and for that we're gonna use the um, gas burner. So we're gonna set it up. I'm gonna use canola oil, but you can use whichever oil you prefer. That should be enough right there. And we're gonna wait for this to heat up and then we're gonna to begin to fry the fish. And while we're waiting for this to heat up, I'm gonna push it over just a little bit. We're gonna coat each one of the fish. This one says, está cayendo. Oh yeah, we're this gonna is... coat that fish. <laughs> okay, there we go. You want to do this? Yeah. Oh, we can do it together. Let's just do this. I'm a little slow, but I'm getting it's, there. It's fine. It's not a race. <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> it's alive! Dun, 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 dun. I think we might need a little bit more flour. Just a tiny bit more. Very carefully, I'm going to pull it over just a little bit so I can reach. Because I have... Alligator hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, my husband is going to be assisting in my videos. Yeah, he's going to be assisting in my videos a lot more. So we're going to be cooking together. Yes. So if you guys follow us on TikTok and Instagram, you will see a lot of him. You already see a lot of him doing the taste test. But... Doing the eating. <laughs> I'll be doing cooking as well. So, I'm the Seuss. So. No. It's a team. I graduated from washing dishes. Now I'm the seuss. Stop. <laughs> All right. So now that these are coated with the first layer of flour, we're going to dip it in the batter. That we're 
going to dip it back in the flour, just the light coat, and then we're going to take it into the pot. You want to flip it while I do this? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You both ready to flip? Ooh. Ooh, it's nice and crispy. Look at that. Ooh, careful, babe. Oh, look at that. It's nice and golden. Love it. I can already smell it. It's 1057. <laughs> yeah, I act like I haven't eaten in days. <laughs> We're not. Uh, I don't, we don't eat people. that. Yeah, we don't eat that much breakfast in the morning because we're like always on the go. But we do have our coffee, panecito well, sometimes. Yes, coffee is a must in the morning. But yeah, something hard in the morning. Sometimes, sometimes it's, yes. Sometimes it's more than one cup because sometimes I have a hard time getting going. <laughs> Lately, I have. I don't know why. Maybe because we added to the family, taking a toll on us. Let, let's wait. Uh, no, oh, wait. I, I would just wait for these. Those look nice and crispy. Very nice and crispy. Just waiting a little bit so I can flip these two. Mm -hmm. That looks great. These are turning out great. Yes, they are. You didn't batter it. Oh, man. Whatever. <laughs> that was mine. It's one of the regular ones. It's one of the regular ones. Okay. For the slaw filling, I'm going to use this bag that has a combination of lettuce, red and green cabbage, carrots, and kale. And to add more flavor, I'm also going to mix in one Roma tomato, half a red onion, a handful of cilantro, and one finely minced serrano pepper. The serrano pepper is completely optional. You can leave it out, but I like to add it to add a little extra heat to the burrito. To prepare the sauce, we're going to mix equal amounts of Mexican sour cream and mayonnaise. I used about half a cup of each, a couple tablespoons of chipotle sauce, the juice from half a lime, and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Mix in those ingredients and set it aside while we prepare a delicious cilantro lime rice to go with the recipe. You can find the link to this recipe in the description of this video. And now that we have everything ready, now we can prepare the burrito. We're going to start by heating up a large burrito-sized tortilla over medium heat. I'm going to start by adding a couple spoonfuls of the chipotle sauce, a couple spoonfuls of the slaw, two pieces of fish, more of the chipotle sauce, and we're going to top it off with the cilantro lime rice. The cilantro lime rice is the perfect combination for these burritos because the lime and the cilantro really bring out the flavor of all these ingredients. But you can also use red rice if you prefer. And now for my favorite part, the taste test. But first we're going to cut both of these burritos in half. Fish burritos, fish tacos are one of my favorites and I can't wait to try this burrito because it looks absolutely delicious. Serve with a few slices of lemon and enjoy with your favorite hot sauce or homemade salsa. No, it's fine. You're perfect? It's just zoomed at me, huh? No. I'm gonna check. Uh, no. Do you want salsa? Maybe. This is de jalapeño. Or, do you want to No, this is good. Okay. Well, I'm going to go and eat because I'm hungry. I'm going to eat a little lemon. Oh, that's what I got to get a lemon. No, I'm going to get a lemon. Oh, you share? I have a lot. And I also added a little bit of serrano to it. So give it a little bit of spice. Because of that kick. Everything just tastes so fresh. Mmm. 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 